Hi, I'm Elaine Harding. Welcome to my blog and to my YouTube channel at stampwithelaine.com. As you know, we're in the middle of celebration and on the opposite page uh, of the stamp set I featured earlier in the week, there is a set of papers called Trusty Toolbox and it coordinates with the Trusty Tools bundle. You'll find the Trusty Tools bundle on page 56 of the new January to April 2024 mini. It's this stamp set and the dies. Um, I've removed some of the dies so that you can see that it fits some of the images on the 12 by 12 inch designer series paper. You, you can get this free subject to a £45 order excluding shipping so this is the wrench it will fit on the image here there's a tape measure uh, a hammer a spanner and even a pencil and on this one there's a paintbrush if you're a beginner and you haven't got um, the tools like a die cutting machine or anything like that um, these images are so easy to cut so you can still make masculine cards with them so let me show you the rest of the, the papers this one has got measurements they're all very masculine colours this has just got the hammers uh, which is crossed and then screwdrivers and on the opposite side it's quite generic. Um, this is like a pegboard, um, screws, nuts, and sort of different heads of screws. Um, you know, the flat one, the crossed, hatched one, and a colour wash or distressed one like this. And on the reverse of these two sheets, there's a graph paper and another colour washed one. So I'll run through the dies in another video on my Top Tip Tuesday stamp with the Lane Facebook page. So this is what I'm making today. It's got a little shelf on it and it's a basic white assortment of memories and more cards and envelopes. There are 10 large and 10 small pre-cut and scored card bases, including their envelopes in each pack. That is four and a quarter by one and a quarter inches. In metric, that will be 10.8 by 3.2 centimeters. And on the short side, you score at a quarter inch, half inch, three quarter inches, and one inch. And in metric, that will be 0 0.6, 1.3, 1 1.9, and 2.5 centimeters. To save time I've already die cut my pegboard and you need a piece of basic white that's two and a half inches by three and seven eighth inches and in metric that will be 6.4 by 9.8 centimeters and then you've got your small memory and more card that's been pre-scored and pre-cut with the matching envelope. You need the trusty tools bundle. I've used this image here, um, the dad and thank you, you're the most awesome for the card. Out of the die set I used the wrench, the hammer and the tape measure to die cut the images from the designer series paper. I've cut the paper so that it measures 6 inches by 12 inches. I basically cut it in half so that it will go through the die cutting machine. And I've selected the hammer, the tape measure and the wrench. So I'll go and die cut that off camera and I'll be back. So there are my die cut elements from the designer series paper. Now I'm going to put tear and tape on one side of the uh, shelf that I've scored and on the opposite side. So you want to start off with 
putting the tear and tape on the underside to the left of you put your card in this landscape position so that the score line is vertical <clears throat> remove the tear and tape and attach it to so this is the inside of the card now I just wanted to be able to see what I'm doing <clears throat> You want to butt it up to that score line, okay? Then fold it back to create the bottom of your shelf. That's the side. Fold it back. So you're basically making this sort of shape. Can you see that? Then remove the other side of the tape, like so, pinch it, fold it back, and make your box like shape. So when you fold it down like this, it will fold flat to go in the card. So I've die cut my pegboard and I've put strips of foam tape on the back so just remove that and make sure that that's sort of in the center like so grab some dimensionals and put that on the back I probably need some mini ones as well for this the tape measure part remove the foam backing you also want to put the hammer on the hammer will be too long so I'm just going to snip off a bit at the bottom and also put mini dimensionals on it Pop that on first, then this on top, I'm going to stamp some screws and nuts in this corner here and the sentiment you are totally awesome so I'm going to make sure this card is straight and my block is straight. Now I want to stamp my sentiment and I'm just going to stamp that second generation because I want to stamp in front of it the word thank you. Then I'm going to stamp thank you over the top in full strength. Now I'm going to fussy cut this. Angle your scissors at a 45 degree angle and move the paper and not your scissors. Pop dimensionals on the back. And voila, the card is finished. And there's the inside. So I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial. Thanks for joining me today. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. And share if you can. I'd really appreciate it. So that's it for today. And I'll be back with more inspiration next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.